the other thing is you mentioned a pint. Um, mm. We we talked to the uh, 202, two, 22 folks today, and they asking about alcohol in stadiums, asking about, I mean, as you've been here, I mean, I, I think you're staying at the Torch, am I right? Mm, yeah. And in my, in my understanding, there, there is no alcohol at the Torch. So, there I mean, is no alcohol. Your thoughts on, you know, now is one thing, but when we got into the World Cup, I mean, as an English uh, fan, as an, a supporter, I mean, what, what's your thoughts on the role of alcohol at the stadiums, Look, being sold <coughs> anywhere in, in Qatar? Uh, what, what I've said, it, it's about cultures. And the English will acknowledge the culture of the Gulf and, and their culture. But England, it's a tradition. You know, on a Saturday when we play a game, Somebody will call him, pull and have a pint, they'll get a pint at the ground. There's no trouble. So you can buy alcohol in the stadium in England? Yeah, yeah. It's part of our heritage, as I call it. Yeah, you can, you can go up onto the concourses, you can have wine with your meal. And it, it's part of our, what I call our heritage and the way we've progressed our businesses. They do it in cricket, they do it in rugby. We do it all. But we've got to accept there is a culture here. What I am saying is we need to work on that culture. And if we've got to obey those rules, we've got to tell our people well and truly early, guys, when you go to Doha, a lot of the hotels are dry. Now, they may decide that they're going to create fan parks. In, in Euro 96, we did that. We created the most fantastic fan parks. And I was lucky in Sheffield, I had the Danes that could really drink. And uh, we put a fan park in one area and everybody congregated and mixed. And they drank, and some of them drank all day. And we had big screens. And it may mean that you have to accept their culture, but somewhere you set up something that helps our culture too because we are fanatical about football. You know, we eat, sleep and breathe it. And you've got to understand that too. I mean, if there, if there the limits that are existing now in alcohol, do you think that, would, that English fans, for example, would be dissuaded from coming, or do you think they still would come despite the limitations? I think if you don't do something about it, what you're doing, you're starting to bury your head in the sand a little bit. You're starting to bury your head in the sand because it needs addressing. You've got to address it. Um, you might be better saying, don't come. But a World Cup without England, German, Dutch, Danes, Scandinavians, it's unthinkable. <laughs>